miss doing you all. The sooner we talk about it, the sooner we can kind of get back to being together, the two of us. See you later. like dealing with their issues head on. Men, on the other hand, dance around them even when it's standing right there in front of their face. That's for icon. We have to focus on that other... <clears throat> I have no idea how I managed to get to the day after the other night. I know, right? It was a really fun night. Mm. We had to talk about that kiss. Yeah, um, I've been thinking about that. Okay. Care to share? Well, um, I feel like we've been going around and around in circles when it comes to you and I. Almost like we're heading towards something inevitable. Hmm. Which is? Well, clearly you can't deny your feelings for me. And obviously I can't deny mine for you either. Thank you. I was heading there. Let's, let me oh, land. Sure. <laughs> okay. So, since we both know how we feel about each other, and you now know that I'm a virgin, I'm not really ready to change that. Right? So, I... I think... I think that we should consider an open relationship. <laughs> Well, I gotta say, I was definitely not expecting that. Yeah, yeah. well, I, I feel that it would be naive of me to ask you to abstain from sex entirely, so... <laughs> okay, I guess I see your point. Oh, so um, it, it makes sense, then. Well, yeah. And I gotta say, I'm really impressed with your whole openness to all of this. So am I, to be honest. I feel like, I guess, Lagos is rubbing off on me. I guess so. Okay. But on one condition. Hmm. I really, really don't need to know anything about anything that goes on outside of us. Okay? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we agreed? was suffering, and with exams coming up, she had a lot on her mind. Her future was hanging in the mix, unsure of where it would go. Good, good morning, Mommy. My dear, how is school? I hope I'm not distracting you in class. No, it's fine. How are you? How is Jude? She's okay. He had a bad attack last night, so we had to rush into the hospital. Attack? I did not want to disturb you. But you know, things are tough now, especially since your father. No, mommy, it will all be sorted. And please, for next time, let me know immediately if there's any emergency. I need to know what's going on with my brother's health. God bless you, my darling daughter, eh? It will be well with you. Amen. Thank you, mom. I'll call you later, okay? Okay. Okay. Love you. I love you, too. <sighs> the last problem seemed to have cleared. I mean, aside from the lying and deception, her and David seem to be doing pretty well. Hey. Hey, uh, I've been trying to reach you. Yeah? I'm sorry, Lola, about everything. And I want to make you right. 
How? Well, I'd like for you to meet my mom. Oh, um, David, are you are you sure we're ready for that? I'm ready, and to be honest, I think I left it for too long. <sighs> okay, okay, I would like to meet your mother too. All right, see you then. Oh, good. I love you. Bye. Hello, Mr. Ladani. I'm really sorry about the other night. You know I've been going through a lot. I know you're not my doctor, Mr. Ladani, but please, I really need a job. Please. I would do anything, anything you want me to, Mr. Ladani, please. Oh, okay, 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 okay. It's fine, it's fine. Thanks for everything. I'll find another way. piece of news would travel far and wide, whilst Esther, on the other hand, would keep some family issues private. He wants me to meet his mother today. I mean, he's lied for too long that I think this is the most honest gesture I could make. Uh-huh. I don't know, man. I don't think I'm mentally ready for this yet. But I'm going with mother, so it probably wouldn't be that bad. Sure. I even listen to him. Uh-huh. Really? Okay, so he wants me to stick my finger up here. Kimmy was broke and bored, and since the whole setting gig was dead and over, she was keen to create a new career path. <laughs> Ew. I knew he was a filthy boy. Not a girl. Shut up. I only said that to get Esther's attention. Yeah, sure. Look, Lola, if you don't have money to daft me right now, I can't lend my ear for too long, okay? I've been posting all kinds of ads just to make small cash. As in, I'm going through the same thing right now. That useless street or employer of mine has decided never to hire me again. Can you imagine? Uh, wasn't that because you slept with a married client and then you exposed yourself in the middle of one of his events? Whose side are you on exactly? Just because I made one mistake doesn't mean I should be blacklisted for life. Come on, Kimmy, you know the kind of business you're in. <sighs> I need a new side hustle. Brokenness doesn't suit me at all. I mean, look at my face. Oh, yeah, you're going to need a facial. Maybe my answer will come to DIY jobs for now. This life, I will never settle for less. Don't worry, I'll figure something out. I'm sure you will. Hey, you. Hey, baby. OK, I think maybe we should hold off on the baby thing. Oh, damn. And I was trying to be smooth. Yeah, well, better luck next time. Fine, fine. So what's up? Do you miss me already? <laughs> well, yes, I do, but that's not why I called. OK. I've got plans tonight, meetings. So that means we can't really hang out. Oh, uh, after hours meetings, for real? When money calls. Yeah, well, I, I guess you have to do what you have to do. Thanks for understanding. Uh, no, I have to finish this blog post anyway. Okay, great, but I'll see you tomorrow for sure. Okay. Bye, baby. You know when you think you've got it all under control and then you realize you don't, but it's already too late? Well, that was me, right here in this potential mess of a situation. You don't know he's a big man. I mean, he is Wale Odenuga. After hours meeting till 2 a.m., possibly mixing business with pleasure. Classic case of how men that age work. Okay, not that it's any of your business, but what are you trying to insinuate? Men like your rich boyfriend usually hold meetings with sexy secretaries like myself, which is there to help them with whatever they need. Please, come on. Ali's not like that, okay? And he's not going to get himself mixed up in some 
business orgy. Don't be naive, Mary. See, all these older men, especially the Yoruba ones, dirty. And then when you see them the next day, they'll be walking around, smiling, shining teeth, like their shit don't stink. I highly doubt that, one. And for the last time, it is Marian. Whatever. Me, I'm just telling you. Listen wisely and be careful. I'll be doing I until this Lagos big boys show you Pepe. Then you will regret your entire existence. Once the seed is planted, there's really not much you can do except watch it grow. And it sure was growing. Faster than anything I had ever seen before. I'm sorry, Susie. You know, I'm so over your apologies, Dickie. I mean, it's fine. You've drawn the line, and now I know where we stand, so. I deserve that. You deserve a whole lot more than that. I was childish and immature for putting our stuff out there like that. Um, I was just hurt. Hurt? Why exactly were you hurt? You were the one who told me to tell you the truth. And instead of standing by me like a man, you ran off like a little bitch. So this is what you deserve. Now get out of my office. Susie, I... Get I... out! Yes, we should be live in the next five days. So I'll need all the teams prepped and ready. <laughs> okay, I'll catch up with you later. Bye. I feel like I've seen you here more times since I got all this than I did when we were together. Oh, come on, Cindy, that's not true. <sighs> if I had time to argue with you, I would. What do you want, Esther? Look, I'm just here to thank you for the last time I was here. I really wasn't expecting that. And why do I find that hard to believe? No, it's true. Although, if you ask me, I feel like I deserved more than what I got, but who am I to complain? Of course. But I'll never hire you, so let's not go there. Uh, you still haven't gotten to why you're here. Look, Tunde, it's my brother. He's in trouble. Oh. I'm sorry. You're the only person in the world I can go to about this. I just paid my bills for last semester, and between that and my rent, I'm so stretched. So you need more money? Tunde. Everything in me is telling me to say no, because I feel like it will just be back again with some disaster, and I'll again be the only one that can help. Tunde, please. OK, fine. But I need to tell you something. How is it? Come on. I'm going to be a father. Sir, excuse me? You said what? I met someone. It's not been long. Tunde, we just broke up. Like, I don't understand. Uh, yeah, she's pregnant, and we're going to keep the baby. She's pretty amazing. You know what? Congra congratulations to you both. <laughs> not that I need it, but thanks. Uh, you'll get a transfer tonight. Thanks. Hi. I'm Sissy. Nice to meet you. Hi to you, too. Congrats to you both. Oh, thank you. We're actually pretty excited. <laughs> Tunde deserves all the happiness in the world. He's such an amazing guy. He is. I wish you both all the best. I appreciate that. Hey. Tunde, yeah? Make sure you get a paternity test. 
She looks like all those girls that I see on the streets. Ciao. I say you know the hear what do. Leave the man alone. Ah. Look, I didn't do anything, okay? Mm. Good afternoon, Daddy. Hope you're enjoying this food. Yes, ma. Egusi is actually my favorite food. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she cooks Egusi well, too. Oh, so you cook? I try, <laughs> but I'm sure it couldn't possibly be yours. <laughs> I guess we'll have to try it out and see. <laughs> I look forward to it, ma. So, um, mommy recently joined Instagram. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> that, that's great. <laughs> Well, my son bought me an iPhone, and since that's what people use it for, I thought, why not? <laughs> wow. Wow, that's, that's a really nice, expensive gift. I hope you're enjoying it, Ma. I'm his mother. Don't I deserve the best? Abby David. Yes, <laughs> Excuse me, please, I need to use the restroom. So, Mom, what do you think? Oh, huh? she's pretty. Yes, Mommy, I know. But what do you really think about her? David, that girl is big for you. She's high maintenance. Agbare Oli Bishugo. Mommy, she's a great girl. She's really, really good. And let's be honest, she doesn't really ask me for much. Maybe not now. But then she'll start demanding for things she cannot afford and fight will break out. David. Mom. This girl will put you into trouble. You have to be careful, sure you know. I know. And what do I always tell you? Cut your coat according to your cough. Uh -huh. So you remember? I remember. And she even eats eba with spoon. <laughs> Mommy, are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Uh, mommy, yeah. that's taking it too far now. Even I eat eba with spoon sometimes. Eating eba with spoon because of those long things on her hands, Abby. Mommy. <sighs> oh, welcome back. Hi, Marion. How are you? Oh, hey, Tolu. What's up? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Nothing much. Um, have you had lunch yet? Uh, no. I guess I've been too distracted. Would you like to join me? Okay, honestly, I have this um, article I have to cut 300 words from, and it's due in 24 hours. I've been told you're the person to come to. <laughs> okay, um, I guess you can buy me lunch to pay for my services. Perfect! Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you. Yeah, let me just go get my stuff. I'll be right there. I feel like you're my high school teacher. You know, with your red pen, striking out lines. <laughs> Go ahead, you can answer. Just answer it. I'll wait, it's fine. Okay. Thanks. Hello. Hey. All your calls got me worried. Is everything okay? Yeah, well, um, I just need to talk. So, so important that couldn't wait. Uh, well? Come on, spit it out. I mean, with all those that. 
incessant calls and epistol text messages. I deserve an explanation. Come on. Well, I, you know, you know, can I just call you later? I'm actually at uh, lunch with the colleague and he's waiting. He? Yes. He. We just got here. So if you're going to be on the phone, wait. So can I call you later? Hmm. Okay. All right, then. Hi. Before this whole open relationship, I felt free. Now I feel like a caged bird. Help! Meanwhile, Lala and Esther's problems have gotten far more complicated. And Kimi has plenty of time to listen. Or does she? And then she now said that it's Eba with a spoon. Can you imagine? What's wrong with that? Well, Tunde's new girlfriend is pregnant. And they're keeping it. Wow, woo. Lola, I'm sorry, but Esther takes the cake here. Oh, so what about me that I'm suffering from the hands of a liar whose mother thinks I'm the problem? Okay, fine. The both of you are suffering, but let me stay, man. Esther, so Tunde just called big mommy next thing, baby mama. I'm so depressed. I don't even know what to do with myself. <sighs> well, I've figured out what my next step should be. And what is that? I'm starting a modeling agency. I mean, I know lots of hot girls in town and I have links to the top fashion designers and other contacts. So why not? I hope it's only modeling services you'll be providing. <sighs> what kind of girl do you think I am, Lola? Well, maybe I can be your first client. I beg, Instagram modeling doesn't count. Yeah, Esther, sorry. I'll just take your shade in peace, eh? Hey. I think I'm quitting my job. What? Yes. Wow, Susie, that's a really huge decision. You love that job. And the economy is tight. Are you sure you want to do this? I think so. I've already written my resignation letter. So, have you told DK? No. And he doesn't deserve any courtesy from me right now. Well, after spilling all your business to Anu and it's ending up in the blogs, you both have definitely reached the peak. You can say that again and again. God, I'm so tired of the back and forth. I just want to be happy. Aww. Sorry. Did I do something wrong? Because you haven't said anything since you picked me up. How was your day? How was your meeting? <laughs> See, I knew it. All those calls just so you could investigate me. Yeah, well, you're the one who just so quickly jumped at the chance at an open relationship. Like some sex-hungry maniac. What? <laughs> See, you're acting like a jealous, crazed person when this was all your idea in the first place. Okay, you know what? Don't call me crazy, Wale. Okay, just, just don't. I don't know what you want from me. I didn't, I didn't ask for any of this. It's my fault. I'm sorry. I am the one who settled instead of demanding what I really deserve, which is a proper, honest, close relationship, Wale. I told you that I couldn't give you that. God, what is it with you women and not listening to what men say? Man, I told you I did not want to hurt you. I made it very clear, Marion. Okay. Then I guess we're clear now that, uh, whatever. Whatever this is, 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 is done. And just like that, our nine hour open relationship becomes a massive failure. Please. Yes. So, Susie. Hmm? You're the only person with a real income here, so I have a bit of a proposal for you. If you have exactly five minutes before I have to go back to numbing my brain with this rise TV show crap. Okay. So since I can't get any hosting gig in town, um, I've thought of my next move. Okay. Four minutes left. I want to start my modeling agency and I have all the right resources to make it work. The only thing I don't have right now is money. How much do you need for your startup capital? About three million now. Okay. When do you intend to pay it back? How long is that going to take you? Who do you intend to borrow this money from? I was thinking from you. Ah. Well, Kimi, I don't know. I mean, you don't even have a business plan. You know, what is your business model? 
How many models do you intend to sign? For how long? So many questions, Kimmy. And you know that I do not play with my money, Kimmy. Okay, okay, fair enough. So, um, would you consider if I make a solid business plan to back it up? Yep, if it makes sense. And now your five minutes is up, so bye. Okay, business plan. What's wrong? Can somebody please explain to me? Remind me why I ever thought that it would make sense to involve myself with that wally demon. I told you that man was troubled. <laughs> I know. I'm so stupid. Oh, Marion. He finally had your first Lagos heartbreak. This is not a cute moment, Lola. Like, what happened? Well, um, <clears throat> we decided to, to try this open relationship. See, you know, one day later, it's not, it's, everything is a mess. Oh, he flew before you could learn how to jump. <laughs> oh, don't worry, you'll be fine, eh? You'll be fine, fine sweetie. Really. In an open relationship, what do you think is sex and the city? <laughs> Susie, I'm truly sorry for everything I ever said or did that hurt you. I, I thought I was ready to marry you back then, but I realized I wasn't. And I needed this experience to really learn a lot about myself, to teach me the true meaning of love and sacrifice, forgiveness and maturity. I love you, Susie. And I'm really ready to marry you now. Will you be my wife? Will you marry me, Susie? I said no. All of us are dealing with our problems, and as much as we try to ignore them, they always creep back up into our lives. Yes. <sighs> I, I don't know. We. I don't know if I'm ready to marry you yet. I have to think about it. So what happens when it's facing you head on and demanding an answer that you really can't give? <laughs> <laughs>